All right, y'all, how's it going? Uh, finally, finally, the river is draggable. It, uh, very, very little trash out here. The water's cleared up quite a bit and they have calmed this current down. Uh, I scanned this section of river. We're gonna, we're gonna drag it here in a minute. Uh, a lot of activity, a lot of activity, as there should be. And I mean, there's some, there's some bigger stuff moving around, but hopefully, hopefully we can get them to bite. But first things first, I wanted to, I really wanted to say this. Okay, so those of y'all that ordered, ordered my, you know, my, my oldest state record rod, they're finally back in stock. Uh, they had an issue with uh, shipment, whatever, so they got delayed. But when, you know, I was at Mad Cats this weekend and, uh, and I got to watch them getting unloaded off the truck. And then I got to watch them get put up in the shipping department. And uh, I'm just so amazed of how many people that ordered this rod and then they called them and said, hey, you know, they're not gonna be in stock till said date, but y'all chose to wait for them to come in. Uh, it, it was it was a bunch of orders uh, that chose to do that. And, and man, I'll tell you what, I am I am definitely humbled by that because you guys had choices. You, you had other choices. You could have got your rod right then and there, but you chose to, to wait the, the week or two weeks or however long it took. And I truly appreciate that, I really do. Uh, that means a lot. I didn't really, I didn't realize uh, you know, just how many orders there were that were uh, basically back ordered, so to speak, that, you know, that you choose to, that you chose to wait. And, uh, and, and that's awesome. And I, I really do appreciate that. I really do. And, you know, and anybody that supports me on here with rods, whatever, uh, I, I appreciate you, each and every one of you guys. I really do. It, it means, a, it means a lot. But back to business, I found, okay, so I got Skipjack. I found the largest school of skipjack I have ever seen in my whole life fishing out here on the river. Now, I'm not saying they're, you know, they're, that big school's not around here every now and again or whatever, I just never found it, but I have never seen it. I thought it was a big school of shad, I like a huge school of shad, which there were shad mixed in them for sure. That's why the skipjack were there. Um, but on my little uh, skipjack rig you guys see me use, I was catching three or four or five at a time. Um, so that, to catch that, I mean, that cooler slap full uh, which means I'll have bait for the next couple days because all I'll do is when I get done today, I'll carry it to the house and I'll put some uh, ice on them. They'll be fine for about another two days. Uh, but I I've never seen that before. Uh, I just hadn't, I was running down the river trying to find some bait and I just seen a whole pile of birds in one little spot. And uh, so I said, well, there's got to be something going on there. And I pulled up there and it was the, like I scanned it. I, I could not see the bank on side scan because that school was so big between the skipjack and the shad. Uh, man, that was so much fun. That was so much fun. It, it took me 15 minutes to fill this cooler up. So that, that's pretty cool. But anyway, we're gonna get some baits cut up and we're gonna get the dragon. I, I kind of feel good. I see, like I said, I see a lot of activity on the bottom. Uh, we're gonna be kind of swinging in and out of the bank here. Uh, we're gonna get kind of close to it. Uh, th this stretch that I've got, I've got a it's, a, it's a slow tapering bank that comes down to you know, some flats on the bottom, then it has holes. Like I'm looking at two good marks right on the bottom right now, golly. But uh, but that's what it does. And it's gonna go in and out of holes here. So basically probably this rod to for sure, those two rods over there, uh, they're gonna be in and out of them big holes that we're gonna come across. And I've got another stretch we're gonna do the same thing with. So hopefully it works out. I really hope it does. Hopefully we don't get snagged up as much. Uh, I have drugged this stretch before and I remember it's got some, you know, it's got some structure on it. So hopefully we can make it through it. Let me get some bait cut up, get some lines out, and let's start catching some fish. Well, hopefully catch some fish. But I'm really hoping we'll get some post spawners out here. That would be, that would be ideal. Because water temps are back up. If you remember last week, uh, last week our water temps were only in, they were 72 degrees, 71, 72 degrees. Today, they're, they're bouncing off 79, 78 degrees. So that's good. That's good. So we'll see what happens. Let me get this boat going. I did have it going like 0 0.2, 0 0.3. That's kind of what I want to do today. I don't want to go too awful fast. Got to fight this wind. And hopefully the barge traffic is not as bad today. Because a lot of the places I'm gonna fish are gonna be pretty close to the main channel. We'll 
just do that just so I can get everything out and I'll slow the boat down. There's a fish, there's a fish. Pull and drag, pull and drag, pull and drag. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to take a drink of water. Heck yeah. Not a bad one. It just stays pinned, that'd be even better. Yeah, he's not a bad one. I figured we'd be picking some up in that channel. I need to spot lock this boat. That's what I need to do. Oh, yeah. I like it when they hit it like that, y'all. All right. Watch everything else. Well, this is when things get exciting when you stop like this. I don't know how big he is. I don't think he's a monster, but boy, he sure hit like one. Dang, sure did. You stand it down, though. Yeah, he's definitely staying down. Yeah. Heck yeah. Well, he's not a bad one, by no means. I might need to get the net on him. He's just... Another one of them borderline ones, you know. One of these days I'll learn to just get this thing ready. Another one of them borderline ones. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. Heck yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. Oh, he was just barely hooked too, y'all. Man. I don't even know how I got him on the boat. Well, well, we'll call you glove worthy. Since you're the biggest one I've caught in a minute. Oh yeah. So he's got peeing everywhere, but he's got spawn marks on him. Post spawn fish, you see how, I mean, you see, you lay it like that, that old gut's all thinned out. He's got marks on him. His old fins are all messed up, so yeah, it's supposed spawn fish here, y'all. That's a good deal, yeah, he's got marks on him. <laughs> Heck yeah. Thank you. I knew that there'd be ones laying out there in that channel somewhere. I just knew it. I just knew it. Let me get a picture of this dude. All right, come on, buddy. Let me go ahead and let you go. Let's go on this side. Thank you. I really appreciate that. And he goes. Heck yeah. I just knew it. Coming in and out of them holes like that. I just there's just too much going on down through here to not get a, a decent fish. I've been I've been getting bit by a bunch of small ones, but I've had that dang suspended rod buried twice now. Both times they didn't hook up. So I don't know. Got him. Got him. Got to be a little one. 
Yeah, I think he's a little one. He just picked it up and started swimming to the boat with it. Well, I think he's a little one, unless he's just twisted. He may be just twisted up in the line. But he just picked it up. I could see if he was dragging that weight along the bottom. He's not a big one at all. Well, what line do I got? He's, <laughs> okay, so y'all, he actually bit over there. Or over this one, I think. And then he swam over this line. And so I pulled him in with the... <laughs> okay. Well, I guess catch him any way you can. Oh, God. Man, this thing is just terrible. I mean, he is just terrible looking. I wonder what's going on with that. I mean, he's got... God, he is just terrible looking. Which is, this, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost positive it's the channel cat. Yeah, it's a channel cat. But I mean, he is just beat to crap. Man, I feel sorry for you, buddy. Dang it, man. Just beat the crap. Or go on, heal up or something. Well, you gotta let go, guy. So, I, I'm pretty sure he bit this rod. And then he swam across this rod. And then, I, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's funny. Oh boy, he took off straight to the bank, didn't he? Mm. All I had to do was get away from that bank over there. I don't think he's a big one, but he's a pretty good ways back there. Yeah, he's a pretty good ways back there though. Yeah, I was trying to trying to fish that ledge for a while, but I was like, man, screw that. I need to get out here to this main channel. Yeah, he's not a big one. He's just back here twirling. I think that pink rod getting bit. Sure is. You gonna take it, buddy? Still playing with it. I wonder if he's got it and he's swimming around with it down there. It looks like he does. Let me get this fish. Let me get this fish a little bit closer. Yep, guess not. Huh? Cast him back out there. Something was playing with it for sure. Yeah, that old head's all chewed up. Let me put a fresh piece before I cast that back out there and I'll get that fish in here for you guys. Not a monster, but he's a fish. Take advantage, it doesn't seem like we got a whole lot of barge traffic today, so I can actually get out to this main current. Or main channel, I mean. 
to get where the fish are for once. Get this back out of there. I'll get you here in a minute, buddy. There's a fish right here. Got to be some bigger ones out here. I mean, as soon as I moved out to this main channel, it was just instant. Come here, buddy. Oh, wow. Well, that's all frayed up. I wonder how that happened. Heck yeah, not a monster. Definitely not what we're after. Not a bad fish though. Yeah, you good looking fish. You ain't all beat up. I don't know if you just didn't spawn or what the deal was. Thank you though, I appreciate it. Okay, well that's, that's all frayed up. I'm gonna have to fix that. Here we go. There we go, finally. Not a big one. Not a big one, but at least he ate it. That's all that matters. Not a big one. <clears throat> you gonna open your mouth, buddy? Probably not. Oh yeah, that's all right. That's all right. <clears throat> Stuck to the mud, boy. Yep. Yeah, dog, boy, he was hooked good. Them old triple threats got him good. <laughs> there we go. Let's see. Yeah, you got some spawn marks on you. Yeah. I hear you. I'll let you go. Appreciate it. Thank you. Mm, he wanted it, or she wanted it. That was a female. See if I can get a, another fish off his head. I mean, I got plenty of live bait, but I mean, a fresh bait, but I want to use it if I don't have to. Oop, 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 oop. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fishy. Yeah, I don't know if he's just twirling. Ah, yeah, he gave up just then. I was say I wasn't sure if he was just twirling or what he was doing. I think he's just twirling. I can see them on the graph, man, but you can't tell me that's the only thing that's down there. Them little ones. Not out here in 60 something foot of water. Yep. 
I think he's at least a little bit bigger than the last one, if anything. Oh yeah, he's a little bit bigger than the last one. Come here, buddy. Well, how did you? I don't know how you did all that. Oh yeah. He's a solid 10 pounder. Sure wish he was a solid 100 pounder. But a solid 10 pounder would be all right. Yeah, y'all just glued to that mud, ain't you? I figured you would be. It's another female. It's like third or fourth female I've caught. She's got some scars on her though. She's been up there doing her thing. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. Well, at least, God, I have no idea how this happened. <laughs> wow, and that is like really tight. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not certain how that happened. Yeah, that's another female, which I, I don't think I've caught a male today, to be honest with you. Well, ain't nothing wrong with that head. It ain't been out there that long. I'll just hook it through the other nostril. And we will send it back down there. The fish that I've been catching here lately, they haven't been, you know, three, four pounders or just a bunch of fish still on my bait all the time. You know, we're actually getting them 10, 12, you know, that one was probably about 15, 16 pounds right around there. So maybe, so I ain't gonna say it's happening today, but maybe <clears throat> these fish are coming off the spawn here, moving back out. Oh, he's pulling drag. He's pulling drag. Oh, golly. All right. Come on, buddy. Well, he was pulling drag. I don't know what he's doing now. He's swimming at me? Yeah, I think he's swimming at me. Surely he's not that small. Golly, the way... I mean, I got these... I got pretty good drag on these reels for a fish to just grab it and start peeling it like that. Okay, well, he's staying down, so that's one thing. I just had a fish smack my suspended rod. I mean, he's not a... Oh, now he's coming up. That's not good. Don't need him to come up. I know this top being in the way, y'all can't see a whole lot, but. Let me put the brakes on there. Yep, they put the brakes on there. Oh God, we are going backwards. Let me spot lock this boat. We are going backwards. Come on, buddy. Like I said, he's not a monster. But man, I'm sure glad to have him bite, for sure. He's definitely probably gonna be the biggest of the day. He does not want to come up, I know that. Here's my board. Yeah, he's a nice one. Nice one for sure. Another one of them. 
Another one of them borderline ones. Let me get the net on him. Hang on, buddy. Another one of them borderline ones. Well, oh, they are so pretty in this clean water now that it's finally clean. Come on, come on. Like I said, we got some current right here too. Oh yeah. Well, come on Nick, there we go. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's another one. He's probably, he's definitely 25. Right around there, I guess. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. I appreciate the heck out of you. But it seemed like all they want are these heads. All right, you are definitely glove worthy. Oh yeah, look at this. Heck yeah. <laughs> I mean, not a bad one, not a monster. Yeah, you can tell you've been up spawning. I think it's another female for sure. Yeah, you can see, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but you can see that, turn your tail, turn your tail. See that tail there? Something been nipping at it. Well, cool, let me get a picture of this one. I'll let him go. All righty, one more last look. Yeah, that's a good looking female. She would never do what she needs to do. Thank you. Where's your big grandmas and grandpas at? Nothing wrong with that fish. I'm glad to have it for sure. We got storms. We got a bunch of pop-ups coming up around us. There's one over there, but I think it's gonna stay over there, so that's good. Good deal. Good deal. I mean, just as slimy as can be. That old spawn slime they got on them. Heck yeah. All right, y'all. I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to, to end this video, or this trip anyway. But what I was thinking about doing, I thought about this about the last couple videos. I think, because uh, I get a lot of questions in the comments, you know, about like, what am I looking for on the graph? Uh, things like that. So I think what I want to start doing, and, and you guys let me know in the comments if, if this is something you guys be interested in, but what I'll do is I, I, I will go over on the graph what I fished today uh, to catch these fish or to locate these fish or uh, places that I didn't catch any fish. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll do it this uh, I'll do it this video, but like I said, you guys let me know in the comments if you think it's something you want to you wanna see each time because I don't mind doing it. I really don't, I don't care to do it. Uh, you know, if it helps anybody else out there to, to kind of figure out what they got to start looking for or better options or more options uh, of what to look for, then, then I'm, I'm all for it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit down here. Okay, so we are obviously currently here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to back us up to where I first started. Okay, so I have some right here. But anyway... I started this and now let's see let me get let me get us a little bit closer. That's a little too much. But you can see the how the contour lines are, and this is my dragon trail right here. I know I got a lot of trails. I you know I I got a you know river you can only go one of two ways. <laughs> so anyway, I was dragging this. So I was basically paying attention to these holes here at the time. I was you know I was wanting to come over these holes and uh, see what was in them. Uh, I caught some little fish in those, nothing, nothing substantial. I think the first, the first decent fish I caught was uh, somewhere, somewhere up in here. But in action, I take that back. He was right in here. But like I said, I was dragging from 
from these lines all the way down to these little holes here. Well, technically the main channel. So we kept dragging, kept dragging, kept dragging. Uh, you can see where you can see where I got hung up, and then I had to spin back around and pick up my planer board. <laughs> so that's what I kept doing. I just kept working that, kept working that, uh, and then that was another spot where I I had to. No, nope, that, that ain't it either. Hold on a second. Yeah, right here is where I had to go back and get my uh, planer board. Then I had to come all the way over here because there was a barge coming down the river, so I had to sit there for a minute. So then I eased my way along this trail right here, coming down, and, and I was fishing. Okay, so like this is the channel, but it turns into a like a big flat. I know there's some contour lines there, but it's a, it basically it turns into a big flat. And, uh, and I started picking up more fish. I had some, you know, a couple of decent fish I picked up there. Uh, but but a lot of small ones, a lot of small bites. Uh, but I did pick up some more, so we we're gonna keep dragging this because I want to try to make it to about right here. Uh, so far, we haven't had too many barges come through today. We only had two barges come through today, but I'm gonna stop it there. But see, I'm gonna come back out again tomorrow, and then I'm gonna probably pick up more or less where I left off. And keep going up so so yeah that's the plan <clears throat> uh, you know we're just trying to locate these we're just trying to locate these uh, these post spawn fish which everything I caught today was was definitely post spawn so that, that's good to see um, I, not real sure where the big girls are at yet but we, we will definitely come across them uh, earlier this morning I seen some and like I said that first spot that I started at it was just loaded loaded with little fish i mean i couldn't keep them off the hook they were loaded so bad but so i definitely had to get away from that area so that's when i moved out quite a bit deeper and i started getting into i, I will say well better quality fish comparatively speaking <laughs> they weren't uh they weren't huge by no means but we're gonna keep plugging away uh it, it's a good sign uh so i know that uh, if you, you fish a body of water long enough, you kind of know what to look for. So now what, we're, what we have now is we've got a lot of shad that's out here in the main river. Uh, once that starts to happen, once all that shad, like here pretty soon, you're just going to see big, huge balls of them just under the surface of the uh, water there. Um, then that means everything that's, that's hiding out in the back of the pockets, everything that's been back there, they're going to start just, just coming out to the river. And that, you know, it makes fishing a lot of fun because you can pretty much catch anything uh, out here that you want. But I've been seeing a lot of lot of shad flipping uh, out here in the middle middle of the channel, and uh, so that means that just you know basically what I'm saying is is that that it's a sign to me that you know everything's going to start getting you know the fish are going to get more plentiful out here. Uh, they're going to come out of them pockets. They're you know the spawn's about ending for these blues. Uh, so we're just looking forward to that. Uh, is all. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it wasn't a bad day. You know, we caught a couple in the 20s. You know, rest of them were probably in the, you know, 10, 15 pound range. Uh, several small ones, several small ones. Uh, then that poor sickly little channel cat, man, I don't know what happened to that thing, but he was, he was terrible looking. Looked like he got run over by a couple different trucks. But yeah, like I said, not, not a bad day at all, considering, but I had a guy uh, say something, uh, he messaged me on Facebook, he said, uh, I caught a bunch of skipjack and I, I found a mega school of skipjack and he said uh, he said typically whenever baits easy the fishing's tough and, and I'll agree with that sometimes there's a lot of truth to that which fishing's been tough for the last I don't know month really and uh it's starting to, it's starting to get there I can tell I can tell by the fish I'm catching I can tell by the activity on the river uh fishing's going to get really good here here pretty quick I'd say I don't know if it'll be this week but uh I'm going to keep fishing and uh find out but you know, I'm definitely by next week, and you know, then, then on from there, it's it's just going to keep getting better and better and better, all the way to the winter. But yeah, this was a God. It was hot today. It, it's still hot today. If it wasn't for this wind, it'd be almost unbearable. Plus this this top, you know, it, it'd be almost unbearable. Uh, but yeah, like I said, that one thing. Just let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, if you want me to do that, you know, in each video or do it more in, in some more uh, some more of my videos and I, I can do that because like i said i have zero problem doing that stuff but like always i appreciate you watching this one and i'll catch you on the next one